Pearl for March 28th, 2023 to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2023, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board as well as the Borough website and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County filed with the Borough Clerk on January 7th, 2023. Thank you. Can we all rise and salute the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Casaba. Present. Mr. D'Alessandro. Here. Mr. Fiola. Here. Mr. Coulter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Here. Mr. Scafidi. Present. Mr. Brunemer. Here. Thank you. We have no presentations or proclamations this evening, so at this time I'll turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mayor. Bear with us. We have uh, two public hearings, first being on ordinance number 23-03. That is an ordinance authorizing removal of deed restriction placed upon property known as Block 60, Lot 16 and 17, also known as 8 Glassboro Avenue on the tax map of the Borough of Glassboro if council moves for the public portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address this proposed ordinance. Seeing none, make a motion to close this uh, public portion and adopt the ordinance as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casaba. Yes. Mr. D'Alessandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. Next, we have ordinance number 23-04. That is an ordinance repealing chapter 101, police department, part four. Promotion policy, article nine, purpose, policy, procedures and adopting a new Article 9 Purpose Policy, Proce policy Procedures for the Borough of Glassboro Council Move the Public Portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address this proposed ordinance. Seeing none. Seeing none. Motion that it be closed. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casabon. Yes. Mr. D'Alessandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, Mayor also need agenda this evening. We have the introduction of the 2023 municipal budget, and council would need to adopt resolution R12023, resolution for the approval of the 2023 municipal budget in the borough of Glassboro, first reading. Again, if council so moves for approval, roll call vote. Your Honor, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mayor, Thank I'm you, Tony. For approval uh, of the resolution noting that the uh, proposed public hearing will be Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I'll second it. All right, I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casabon. Yes. Mr. D'Alessandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of February 28th, 2023, as well as the closed executive session of February 28th, 2023. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, Karen, can we go with communications, please? Yes, Mayor. I have one communication this evening. It's a resignation. Um, for Creative Glassboro Advisory Board from Mary Ann Schottenfeld. That's the only communication I have. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion for approval or acceptance. Second. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. This time I'll move to committee reports and begin with our council president, Miller. Uh, good evening. Just like to. Uh, Note that our awesome employees with our Park and Recreation Department have begun um, tearing up the field over at our uh, 
uh, South Dawson Drive Park in reference of getting prepared for the new turf fill that we're going to have. It will be a multi-use fill for not only the uh, park and recreation teams, but we're going to open it up to our high school uh, football and field hockey and soccer teams as well. And that's all I have. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Casabo. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, just to let the records reflect that I'm in uh, receipt of the monthly report of February for the police department and the fire department. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman D'Alessandro. Mayor, at this time, I have none. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman Fiola. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I am in receipt from our uh, CFO, Ms. Karen Passione, of the uh, various uh, periodic financial reports, these for the month of February 2023. I thank her for that, and that's all I have. Thank you very much, sir. Councilman Halper. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening. I just want to make a report that uh, based upon the what's taking place in Philadelphia right now, I spoke to our water department superintendent over the weekend, and we have no concern here whatsoever. We're of water top quality here in Glassboro. Thank you very much. And Councilwoman Spence. Thank you, Mayor. I have nothing to this evening. Very good. Thank you very much. And we have uh, no unfinished business if this evening. So, Karen, can you go over our new business, please? Yes, Mayor. I need an authorization for New Jersey State Firemen's Association membership application to be approved for Jared F. Garofalo. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? That motion carries. I also need a motion for to go out to RFP for a public defender. I'll Should make that motion again. Second. second. Motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you, Karen. Uh, at this time, I'll ask for the engineer's report, please, Mark. Yes, good evening. Uh, the Village's townhouses, which is the 94 townhouses, Camelot, uh, they processed their first grading plan through our office, so they'll be getting all the building permits through the code. So that'll be firing up in the next uh, month or so. Uh, with those aspects, they're still working on the paperwork on the 30 townhouses across the street, but uh, that's all coming together to get all this paperwork and signed and executed. Charles III in Phase 1, uh, they still have to come out and finish a few signs and also do the restoration work for grass uh, planning. And uh, Charles III in Phase 2, was milled this morning, uh, coordinated with the police department as far as traffic control, and they will be back out there tomorrow paving it. Hopefully Thursday they'll be putting in the speed humps and Friday strike hunting. So subject to contract availability, uh, that'll all be transpiring then. Uh, for those Lincoln housing project, uh, likewise uh, all 14 houses have received TCOs from our office, so they're coordinating with the code office to make sure they have all their building information complete so they can get their folks all moved in uh, for that, including their rec center. Uh, that landfill continues uh, their work out, out of uh, Martin Luther King, uh, getting out here to close that and things on those lines. And uh, Lysio's expansion uh, continues with their installation of their building over on Ellis Street. So they have the stormwater basin built in the back, and uh, they're just proceeding with the building at the moment. That's all I have. Thank you. Well, we, we did start surveying to finish the survey for Bo Boulevard uh, the, today. So we'll be preparing a plan to send out the DOT. That will be from Carpenter Street to the railroad. That's also DOT funding. Thank you very much, Mark. That's any other questions? Any questions for Mark? Thank you again, Mark. Uh, at this time, I will again turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mayor. Under our consent agenda for resolutions, action items begin with Resolution 115, authorizing Glassboro Planning Board to review a proposed redevelopment plan for Block 413, Lot 11 in the Borough of Glassboro, Resolution 116. Authorizing Glassboro Planning Board to review a proposed flood damage prevention ordinance and plan for the Borough of Glassboro, Resolution 117. Authorizing execution of authorization, submitted a remedial phase report through NJDEP online and cover certification form Delcy Drive Turf Project 136 140 South Delcy Drive, Green Acres Project 080621 023. Resolution 118, authorizing refund of street opening, performance guarantee, Joseph Caporel. <laughs> Resolution 119, authorizing refund of street opening, performance guarantee, Norwood McFadden. And Resolution 120, approving 
one side letter agreement buying between the borough of Glasspro and the International Association of Firefighters IAFF local 3592 bargaining unit. There are resolutions under the consent agenda for the reasons noted as well. Under each resolution, council soon moves for approval. Roll call vote. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Costa. Yes. Mr. Delisandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Four. Motion carries. There we have a bunch of ordinances on first reading by title only. I'll read them all first. The motion would be to introduce uh, all the resolutions at one time, beginning with number 2305, ordinance adopting a redevelopment plan for the block 413, lot 11 within the borough of Glassboro, ordinance 2306, an ordinance by the borough of Glassboro, mayor council amending the borough of Glassboro code of ordinances to repeal section 10746 to adopt new sections 10746.1 to 10746.12 to adopt flood hazard maps to designate a floodplain administrator and providing for severability and effective date ordinance 2307 and ordinance amending chapter 490 health rules and regulations article 14 backyard chicken pilot program section 66b Code Book of the Borough of Glassboro, Ordinance 2308, Bond Ordinance authorizing the acquisition of various pieces of capital equipment, completion of various capital improvements in for the Borough of Glassboro, County Gloucester, New Jersey, appropriating a sum of $1,847,000, therefore authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond, anticipa bond anticipation notes. Other Borough of Glassboro, County Gloucester, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $1,000,000. $754,650, making certain determinations and covenants and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. And finally, Ordinance 23-09, another bond ordinance authorizing various water and sewer improvements in the borough of Glassboro County, Gloucester, New Jersey, appropriating a sum of $1,475,000, therefore, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes of the borough of Glassboro County, Gloucester, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $1,475,000 and making certain determinations and covenants and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. The motion tonight would be to introduce ordinances number 2305 through 2309 by title only. Tonight, roll call vote or so moved. Motion for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Yes. Mr. D'Alessandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to open the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to open the meeting to the public. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address mayor and council. Uh, for those members of the public, please note we do have rules and regulations related to the public public portion of the meeting. They are on the agenda. Most importantly, note there is a five-minute limitation. Also, when you approach, would you please identify yourself and spell your last name for the record? Thank you. Hello. Good evening. Uh, what? You want me to say my name or spell it? Uh, both. Okay. <laughs> Everett Rummel. E V E R E T R U M M E L. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, your address, please. No, now you're on. 473 New Street E in Glassboro. Thank you. Just read the address, right? Just read it. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, good evening. Good evening. I'd like to ask two things. First, the Glassboro Library. Uh, the building seems to be in somewhat poor shape. I hear about mold and warped carpeting, uh, maybe issues with ADA accessibility, but also I've seen lots of roof leaks. Uh, can you please renovate it or build a new building? I understand the borough applied for uh, a state grant, uh, Library Construction Act, I think it was called, uh, and uh, we did not receive that grant funding. That's bad, but uh, please don't give up on the project. Uh, you know, how about floating a bond, or is the county commission at all interested in helping us? Or uh, perhaps federal funding? That's a long shot, but I'm told that there might be something in the Inflation Reduction Act if we design a green building. So. Uh, can you uh, perhaps reach out to Congressman Donald Norcross? I haven't had so much success uh, you know, 
contacting him about sort of a long, open-ended, uh, researchy question. Uh, and we, when we eventually do build a new library, uh, please locate it downtown. Second, can you please open the restrooms in our parks to the public? Uh, yeah, I've been using them for a while now, and the restrooms are mostly never open. Uh, specifically New East New Street Park, but I think it's the same for Renlin. Uh, so first, my, uh, my pregnant wife can't fully enjoy the park when we walk our dog together, uh, or just whenever we're in the park for any reason. Uh, you know, she has to, we have to leave early, we have to cut it short. Uh, off, I often see parents with young kids in the park and they're trying to access the bathroom and they can't and then they have to tell their kids to use the woods or they have to leave early. Uh, recently, what was it, March 22nd, 6.45 p.m., there were a lot of groups playing baseball and softball in the ball field in East New Street Park. Lots of parents with young kids uh, trying to use the bathrooms and they were locked. Uh, and I, I heard that, yeah, they have to use the woods. So can we provide a, a slightly more sanitary solution? Uh, the town square restrooms are open to the public all the time. Can we do the same for other park restrooms? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rommel, thanks for coming up. Uh, and I can respond to uh, both of them now. Mm -hmm. uh, the borough is actively searching for a new facility to relocate the library. We are actively working, been working, working. We're getting very close, uh, but that is absolutely in the works. And with regards to the restrooms at the park, we will address that tomorrow, and we'll see if we can come up with a solution for that as well. Thank you. All right, thanks for coming. So you know, all there's a big motion to close the public portion. I second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. The public portion is now closed. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Approve all duly authorized bills be paid. And I'll second that all duly authorized bills be paid. All right, I have a motion and second that all duly authorized bills be paid. Uh, all in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? May I add to 22-01037 and 22-01144? Any other abstentions? They've been noted. Motion still carries. Uh, any closing comments from our administrator? I do, Mayor. Just a couple comments on the budget. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank our CFO, Karen Passioni, and her team. Um, no one likes to pass a tax increase on. We haven't done it five out of the last six years, which is basically unheard of in, in the state of New Jersey. But COVID has continued to play. People say COVID's behind us for the next few years. From a municipality perspective, COVID is in front of us. So while we're passing on a three and a half cent tax increase, I think it's important for the people to know when we started this process, our tax increase was 14 cents or $1.8 million. So Karen, her team, all of the borough employees went back, fine toothed their budgets, and we narrowed it down to three and a half cents. It's very difficult with the budget when you have a couple areas that are uncontrollable. Our health benefit premium increase went up $565,000. Our pension employee contribution went up $426,000. That's $991,000 before we even started the budget this year. So again, while I never like to raise taxes, I know this governing body doesn't, three and a half cents is a heck of a job this year, in my opinion. And Karen, Thank you, thank your team, and thank all the employees of Glassboro for that. And next year it's going to be just as hard because we're losing a million dollars of COVID funding next year that goes away. So while COVID may be behind us, for this municipality and other municipalities, it's still in front of us. That's the only comments I have, Mayor. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, our administrator for that presentation. Thank you. Um, I would just like to uh, further expound upon that. Being from my chair, I do have to say uh, I have a true first-hand appreciation for the amount of work that goes into trying to keep the tax increase, if at all, if it has to go up, as low as possible. And like our administrator said, they started off at 14 cents, and everybody in the borough, all the department heads, a finance department especially, spearheaded by Karen, our CFO, 
uh, really buckled down and were able to come up with a with uh, a, a budget presentation that is, uh, I believe, well, obviously suitable to all of us up here. So again, uh, as our administrator said, I couldn't thank you all enough. Um, very fortunate to be a mayor of such hardworking, uh, conscientious individuals. Um, I want to thank everybody that came out this evening. It's nice to see more Rowan students out here keep coming. Uh, thank those that shared this evening. Wish you all the best. And with that, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Have a great evening, everyone. Next regular meeting will be April 11th, 2023, 6.30 p.m. That's a wrap, folks. All right.